to take over my brother's shift as well. There's the sun rising, and I'm recording that no more. Have you just polished that armor, Who's it? Of course. Isn't that a little... What? Nothing. Out with it, woman. Forget I said anything. You look very dignified. Aloy, I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. Little Huntress, you called, so here I am. Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Ah, so I am. We've only met a few times, and yet you know me so well. I don't think I know you at all. But I'd like to. Hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit and Sunfall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. I said I came for you, but that was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. Tomorrow, may the sun rise in a better world. Nakoa, you came to fight. How could I not? During the Red Raids, there was only one Karja Butcher the Nora feared more than Zaid. Helis. I would stand against any army he leads, no matter how strong. For the Nora he terrorized, for myself, and for my father. We'll stop him. You have my word. Your word means a lot. Especially now. Because of you, I hear the sacred land is opened. If we win, I can go home. It'll be good to see Jan again. I'm with you, Aloy. Until the end. Isn't that... Geneva, oh, like they called you back to duty. So, you're the one behind all this commotion. Who made Sun King Avad finally show his sword arm from behind those robes? A king can be fierce and fair, Geneva. He's a good man. A smart man, too. He had Murad offer all my prisoners a royal pardon if they'd fight for Meridian. The whole motley lot of them agreed. Didn't take much convincing. With your kind of convincing, I don't doubt it. Ha! This time I went easy on them. Those who commit the crime of attacking Meridian, they'll see less of my lenient side. May the sun blaze at your back, Aloy. How many men do you think you'll kill in the battle, Luthid? As many as I have to. I love it when you say things like that. It's so... What? Cheerful. 
Nil? Aloy. They told me your name. I said hair like a splash of blood, tenacious as a scrapper's jaws. I've thought about what you said. Every time, the wound you gave me caught on my ribs. But I didn't wound you. Not by metal. Still, I forgive. A duel is such a fleeting joy. If one of us had ended the other, we'd have missed all this. The wait before blood is shed. Like the scrape of a blade across your teeth. Nil, you're making it difficult to be glad to see you. But you're needed. The battle will be hard. Hard? I was assured the odds would be near impossible. And you signed up anyway? Impossible odds, fine company, killing without consequence. How could I resist? Alita, I'm, I'm pleased to see you, but what are you doing here? I'm helping prepare for the battle. If a troll were here, we would have fought together. I know it. So I'm doing everything I can. Digging battlements, collecting herbs, anything that makes a difference. I can't take his place. Nothing can take his place. But I'm here for him, for both of us. I understand what it was he saw in you. He'll always be with me. Sun and shadow still meet for a moment, every dawn and dusk. I should give you this, to help in the battle. By the sun, I hope you don't need it. Thank you, Alita. Be safe. That's a nice spear, Uthid. Thank you. I like the way you grip it. Enough, woman. Petra! Here she is, the guest of honor. I knew there was something about you. Hammered from the stuff they make leaders out of. And I don't say that to every Nora girl who blows through my town. That happens to you a lot? <laughs> Had to build a wall to fend them off. <laughs> Good thing I'm persistent then. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Osram, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges, so I've taken greater pride in improving them. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it, then. The target should put up a little less of a fight than those bandit raiders did. Now this thing is dangerous. It's nice and wide. No need to aim like a bow. Range is good. Try the next. See? That'll knock a machine on its ass, ancient or no. With these, I think we can hold off an army. You know that I appreciate your help, Petra. This battle... I don't know what's gonna happen. 
We'll see each other again, I know it. Next time could be the time I'll convince you to stick with the free heap. Petra, you know I... I do, I do. Always had a weakness for restless girls, though. You're the hunter from the Banuk Grove. I remember you also, Nora. The machines shook free of their slumber after you arrived. Raged and fought. Uh, well, that, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm thanking you. That night I decided I would not go back to Banur. I would take my hunt into these lands. So many machines, even demons. Spidery, skittering, without the blue light in them. Dead things that must be killed again. Our enemies dug up an army of them. An army? Yes, that's why I came. Good. I'll wait. Artok? I didn't expect you to come all this way. It's true, I am a stranger in this green and snowless land. Aurea forgave the Karja, but I never did. Still, I was compelled to come for my once chieftain. It's good to see you leading again. This young ice hunter seeks to prove herself also. Her spark reminds me of Aurea's in our youth. And I'm proud to take my place behind you on this hunt. A great challenge. Survive and prevail, right? There is no other way. Talana, why are you here? I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the Lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. My only request... Name it. Leave the biggest machine for me. <laughs> no promises. Rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in there. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you, you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all. But my place is in the sacred land. 
The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil because the Goddess says, or because you say. I think the Goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. call themselves the Eclipse. What does that even mean? Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line. line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit them like a hammer till they can't hit back. back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. I've heard an army marches on the gates.
I'm locked out of court control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Roland's apartment feels empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? Did you sleep, Elizabeth, with a weight like this pressing on you? How did you rust after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? Guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. Ma'am, there are signs from the west. Sun King Avad awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Campfires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not wood smoke. Then what is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. The Deathbringers you spoke of? To the guns! To the guns! Now! By the sun, do as she says! <laughs> Set loaded! All of you, be ready to fire! <gasps> Will the guns hold them back? We're about to find out. Rally the vanguard. Send reinforcements. Aloy, no! We need those guns! He will cut you down! Not this time! You have vexed me long enough. Should have fought me in a sun ring no. then. Why do you fight? Try to run. <laughs> Die! The end is inevitable. 
inevitable. Accept it. Accept your weakness. Damn him. Bridge can't take much more of this. It's giving way! Can't let him in close. I am chosen. This was not meant to be. You're done. Hades is next. The buried shadow will save me. I cannot. Ah!
arms again. West! Aloy. 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 Tab. By all mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. 
The others, are they... No, no. Wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Teb. I've got to go. Go! We'll draw them. Now you face their true son, Shadow Demon. This is where I belong, Aloy. But the spire calls to you. started the signal. It must have gotten through the defenses. The Nora. Baron's vanguard. I have to get up there. wouldn't be easy. So no holding back. <sighs> the 
they're alive. Aloy! It's Aloy! Well, you, you can see that. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. It's my fight. I can't ask you to come with me. We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. Hawk and Thrush, let's go. I should stock up. Last chance. All of you, focus on the new machines!
clear. Finish it, Aloy! Finish it now! System threat imminent. I'm more than a threat. Master Override armed. To activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Purging Extinction Protocol. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I packed the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV. So the grass caught fire, and uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query. You were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God, so she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds, because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care, and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query. What did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something. <clears throat> to serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. I guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her 
to be curious and willful, unstoppable even, but with enough compassion to heal the world just a little bit. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow.
Hello, old friend. Remember me? We've still so much to discuss. So much you never revealed. Your masters, for example. The ones who sent the signal that woke you. Knowledge has its rewards, don't you think? Well, let's begin. <laughs> 